Hey, it's Chris Newman, realtor with Red Fox Realty here in Albuquerque. Just here with my, I don't know what vlog number it is. Vlog number four, we're gonna be talking about buyers and their closing costs. So a little bit about me, I spent time in the military, I was a, an electrical engineer for a number of years. Uh, now I sell real estate full time, helping buyers and sellers reach their goals. A common question that buyers ask is, well, what do I expect to pay at closing? If you're going through a loan process, as a buyer, you're expected to pay the down payment, the closing costs associated with your loan. The closing costs are negotiable when we get uh, into a purchase agreement, but the cost to doing business and a cost to buying a home, and we're just gonna kind of talk about that. Let's say you're buying a home and you, you get a loan and you have to come up with a down payment, whatever that is. If you're a veteran, you may have a 0% down. If you're a, if you're a first time home buyer and you're utilizing an FHA program, you may have three and a half percent down. Heck, some conventional programs have three and a half percent down with a, with no first time home buyer requirement, meaning you could be a, a first time buyer, a second time buyer, a 10th time buyer. And, and if, if you qualify for that program, you could come up with a three and a half percent down payment. The common uh, misunderstanding or maybe a myth is that as a buyer, you need to have a large down payment, like 20%. Yeah, that could help. If you if you come up with a 20% down payment, you could totally uh, reduce the need to pay something called private mortgage insurance or PMI. That could save you thousands of dollars. There are some conventional programs out there that have a zero down um, loan. That you may pay a higher interest rate for that product, but I mean, there are numerous financing opportunities for buyers, but the down payment is really just one aspect of the financing. So closing costs are fees that are negotiated during a purchase agreement. Things like the lender's gonna charge you an origination fee, credit check fees, buy down points. Those are all lender related fees that could be associated with your loan. Um, what are some other fees? Prepaids, prepaid fees such as prepaid taxes, prepaid home insurance, prepaid um, interest, things that the lender will require to be able to uh, set you up with a loan. If they have to mail anything to you, they'll, they'll charge you for that. May have a buyer deed recording fee to record the deed with the county. Maybe some mortgagee endorsements on the title policy. But those are all closing costs that we have on top of the down payment. That could amount to another 2 to 3% of the purchase price. So as a buyer, you have your down payment, which is a certain percentage depending on the loan you have. And then you have closing costs, which could be up to about 3% conservatively that are associated with doing business with your lender. The good news is you don't have to go it alone. A good loan officer will work with you to give you all the estimates you need, what you need to come to the closing table with and how much it costs to do business with that lender. That said, I always advocate shopping around one or two lenders just to get a feel for who you like to do business with and, and also to look at the bottom line of, of how much they're charging you to do business with them. Once you find the lender you, you want to work with, they'll be able to give you an idea of what you could afford in terms of purchase price, whether or not you um, need a down payment, how much that will be, the estimate based on the purchase price you're looking at, um, any closing cost estimates, things like that. Of course, we always recommend that as a buyer, you get pre-qualified before you go shopping so that way you know what you qualify for and you know what your purchase price should be. Now we know that estimates are nice, but you really need to know real numbers to be able to do accounting and, and budget your money. But just know if you, if you stick to the conservative estimate and, and don't push the limits financially, you, you'll be just fine. For a lot of my buyers, I'm able to negotiate the seller to provide two to 3% of the purchase price to cover the buyer's closing costs. That helps reduce some of the cash the buyer has to come to closing with. That's the value of a good real estate broker. We come in here and we can help you craft an offer that helps you win at home, but also get your closing costs or things covered if, if need be. We're making some of our claims about moving into a home for $500 down viable and true because if we could get those closing costs covered and the home is in the right price range and the buyer qualifies for these programs, that really is a reality. The goal of this is to just inform you to let you know what to expect when you're actually getting into the buying process because I feel like closing costs are sort of glossed over, they're not really explained and it's sort of left as an afterthought. You choose who you work with as a buyer. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Chris Newman. I, I really enjoy sharing this information with you and you know, put something in the comments if you have any requests about more information that you like or reach out to me anytime. I'm always here to help people. Thanks again for watching and I appreciate your time.